I took off the front bumper because I have to reroute uh, the light harness for the headlights and uh, the fog lights. So it's a lot easier if I can just go through here and clean up everything and, you know, make sure everything's going to look good. Um, oof, here's the rat's nest. Now, I say that gently because it's really not a, it's, well, it's the only way I could really explain it. It's not a butcher job. Um, everything you see here um, is not cut and spliced and electrical taped together. You just see a project that is literally all over the place. Um, I was testing things out with the air conditioning system and you know everything is not in its place. So it will be in its place shortly. Um, I just need uh, a little time and to stop having people bugging me all, all hours of the day. Um, so this is where I stand. I gotta tuck these wires away and put everything where it has to go. And I gotta do the uh, thing with the oil pressure switch. And um, I decided that um, I'm going to send my car out to get painted. Now, um, I was going to make a video on this, but I started painting my car last summer. And um, the original color of this car is kind of unknown because when I, sanded it, when I sanded it down, it was uh, shades, uh, not shades, but it was, um, it was red, it was white, it was black, it was uh, midnight blue. Um, so I, I'm thinking that I'm thinking that the original color was white or black. Um, I don't know, but anyway, um, the color you see here is called Sunrise Red. Um, I wanted Victory Red, and I picked out Victory Red when I bought this car in 2005. And um, I could only get Sunrise Red, so I was like, ah, what the hell? And it's pretty close to Victory Red, but if I'm going to send it out to get painted, I'm just going to have it professionally done and in the colors that I want it. So uh, what's left is the wiring, paint job, uh, I have to get the rims restored. I was going to do that myself, um, but I found this uh, rebuilder. Well, not rebuilder, but uh, this restoration place that does uh, strictly rims on all kinds of different cars. Um, I gave him a set of rims from my 2001 Grand Prix, which was uh, right here at the at the lip, was busted in half. And I thought I had to junk it, but um, they fixed it and they restored the whole thing and it looked beautiful. So. Um, I'm going to get the rims restored by this guy, um, if I'm going to ask him for his permission, if I can put his name up uh, on my YouTube, and uh, I'm going to, i got to get four brand new tires, and that's going to be quite a lot of money. Here's a little depth problem on the Firebird. The passenger side speaker fits in good, but the driver's side speaker doesn't fit in at all. And that's the problem we've been having, well, that I've been having, there's really no we. <laughs> Uh, so that's the problem. The magnet is too big and what it does is it hits right in to that right there. That's uh, an air conditioning duct.